Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you, Anna Selmi? Fine, teacher. How's it going? Mm, I am happy today. Really? I, yes, I complete uh, my task for this day. You completed your tasks for I today. Really? Yes, or really. Did, did you meet your goals? Yeah. You achieved your goals. Really? Okay. That's good. Yeah. That's good. I am tired, but. Okay. Hmm. Well, we wait for the others. Let, let's perfectionate yeah. that word. You say tired. Tired. Mm -mm. Tire. Tired. 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 Mm. Es, como decir, es como decir tire de llanta, tire. Tire. Y al fin, no, tire. Tire. Ahí. Y al final agregar una D. Tire. Tired. Tire. I'm tired. I'm tired. Uh -huh. Tired. Esa R, lo que pasa es que hay que, hay que enrollar la lengua hacia atrás. Tired. <laughs> tired no, no es fácil, eh? igual que la palabra girl 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 my girlfriend, girl my girl, my little girl my little girl, okay good, there are many difficult words okay good, we are 11 so far just making up some time for your classmates You may start a conversation if you want. Let's talk about today's conference. Did you watch the United Nations conference? I'm sorry, the United Nations speech from our president. I can't hear anyone. You cannot, not you cannot hear anybody? Not oh, yes, anybody. Oh, uh, you, you can hear me, Susanna. Yes, I can hear you. Hear you. Okay. Yeah, nobody was talking, only me. <laughs> okay. So what do you think about today's conference? Did you did you have the chance to hear any part of the of the uh, speech at the United Nations conference? Congress? No. No, no teacher. Yet. No yet, teacher. Yeah, it was in the afternoon about at about 5:30, almost 6. No one. And, and we have a national um, broadcasting. We have a national broadcasting. I don't know how he's going to do it. If he's, where, where is that taking place? I don't know how he's going to travel so fast or where was it being held? I don't know. Not sure. Any news? I don't know. You tell me. What do you think about today's weather? I mean, in the world, how the weather is behaving around the world? Have you seen the news, how the weather is behaving? No. Yes. Only, only funeral of the queen. Only that. Just the funeral of the queen. <laughs> Only that. That's outdated. That's outdated. Okay, this is out of update. Okay, what, what's recent news? Come on, guys, build a conversation, start the conversation among yourselves. 
You need to learn how to break the ice. That's very important. Even at our age, it is important because especially when you are an adult, you come to understand that you need to learn to build a conversation with anybody. Because now you are allowed to, to talk to strangers. Before you couldn't talk to strangers, right? Now you do. <laughs> now you must talk to strangers. No? We are very shy teacher. Why are you so shy? No. Okay, let's <laughs> let me throw a topic. I'm gonna throw a topic. What were your mothers or your parents? advices what what's the, the the most important advice that you remember that you were given as a child study so much to one day be a professional okay yeah study much study. yeah mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> i remember 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 mm -hmm. I remember that advice from my from my father and from my mother. I don't know how do you say in English, but <laughs> all the time uh, she tell us to my to me and my sisters. <laughs> um, oh my God! How can I say that in in English? No voy a meter las cuatro patas. <laughs> don't screw it up. Don't, yes. don't, don't mess around. Don't mess around. Don't <laughs> screw it up. Uh, even though screw up, it could be misunderstood. Yeah. It's a phrasal verb. Don't screw it up. No, okay. It's oh, not, yes. it's not yes. translating as, as, as bad yes. things. But. Yeah. It's like it's like don't screw it up. It's, what is 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 uh it's like no lo vais a regar algo así. Yeah. 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 In good Salvadorian. Yeah. I I hear that in in the in some movies. Screw it up. Yeah. I, I listen to that. Yeah. No, but that's the point. If you say yeah. just screw it, it sounds um like a bad word. It's a bad word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So be careful. Don't screw it up. Is like. Yeah. Uh -huh, yeah, I mean, advice. yeah, mm -hmm. and sort of, yeah, an advice. Okay. okay. So if you're given an opportunity, don't screw it up. Okay. Take, take chance, take every chance that life gives you. Uh, my, my personal uh, and favorite one is to do everything the best you can. That's what my mama, my grandma used to tell me. If somebody gives you a hand, you know, or if whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing, just do it the best you can. Because she said, you don't know who's going to be watching you. You know, there's always someone watching you. Okay. What about you, Wilfredo? What used to be your mother's advice? Okay. Good evening, teacher. I'm not agree with Rosa Elena because I, when, 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 when I was a child, I I grew up only with my mom and my my grandfather and and my grandmother. Mm -hmm. But I, I one one of the first advice that that, that my mother um, gave me uh, you have to study so much because she always had a dream that. Um, my sister and my oldest brother could be when when we we grew up. Camus. We cuando, when, we were. Cuando o cuando seamos adultos when 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 we were we, young. When we get fueron, older, when we get older, when yeah. we get when to we be get, adults. We, yes, when we get old or be older. Uh, we have to be engineer. Yes, and you, they and they got his her, her dream because my sister and my all my oldest brother, we are engineers. 
Then mm -hmm. when, when the people ask her, she lives now in the United States, but she always told me that when the people ask her for their for her children, she always always says my my children because always she she says children when talk about us they are engineer but she feels so so nice because um this was her dream excellent hey good job wilfredo <laughs> okay uh, something that you're doing all of you um, is you misusing uh, the misuse of uh, that verb, agree or disagree. Remember, you don't need the auxiliary. So I don't agree, uh, I disagree. If you agree with someone, I agree, I agree, okay? I agree or I disagree. I agree with Rosalina, I don't agree with Rosalina. I heard you said I don't agree, that is I do. Oh, muy importante, muy Británico, pero los americanos lo hacen también. Cuando querés hacer énfasis en que algo es así, o por decir, yo sí estoy de acuerdo, I do agree. ¿Ok? I do play basketball. I do cook at home. ¿Ya? Yeah? I do help my family members. ¿Ok? And one more thing is to get, to become, to turn. So, for example, um, to get old, you use get to explain that whenever you get old, um, to become, whenever I become 50, whenever I become older, whenever I turn, whenever I turn 50, for example, okay, and next year I'm turning, listen, next year I'm turning 41, okay, um, whenever my son turns an engineer whenever my son becomes an engineer whenever my son gets to be an engineer there that doesn't apply okay um you have to study much my, and this is very important um used to you should study this used to or used to Super rápido. Ocupo used to para um, cosas que hago cotidianamente, que son, uh, how do you call these things? Recurrent te... feature. Huh? Recurrent. Recurrent actions, but they have another name. Uh, Frequency. Yeah. Well, things that you used to do. Teacher. Costumbres. Hey. I, I, I have a question. Mm -hmm. um this this phrase used to um mm -hmm. may i use it uh, for example in my job every day in the morning i have i i have to do some activity for example many people have to check their their machine they have to check the the first garment that they produce or each uh, operation uh, each operations operation. mm -hmm. yes um but if i didn't do it oh my god the, the quality is going to be so bad and then when the, um, we have a uh, every week um corporate audit that it is an uh, it is a, a person that are uh, right uh, they go to to my plant mm -hmm. they they make a, this process, they took, they take or took uh, 15 garments, they select, um, for example, 15. Then uh, they check, um, for example, um, let me see, uh, uh, it is depend on uh, the, the muestra. The sample? Sample, sample, yes. But if if I I I want to assure this this uh, this audit, I I had to all all the every day I had to make some checklist check uh, to do some I I have to do 
um, I don't know, are around 10 or 11 check checklists. May wow. I use this word to, to talk about? For example? I, uh, for example, I, I used to check all my process or I used to check um, each process. Yes, you can do it, but like that. Just be careful of, there are three different scenarios where you can use this. This is like when you say in Spanish, yo solía, for example, I used to smoke, yo solía fumar, okay? I used to smoke a cigarette before the class. Yeah, estoy, ahí estoy usando en presente simple. I used to. Yo suelo. Presente simple. I used to. Uh, vamos a ejemplo por, por partes. Employees are used to check their machines before they start to work. Ok. Los empleados suelen chequear su maquinaria antes de empezar a trabajar. En el segundo ejemplo, employees used to check their machines before they started to work. Ahora, ya no soy yo el supervisor. Llegué de visita a la planta y voy viendo que ya nadie chequea las, las máquinas antes de empezar a trabajar. Los empleados solían chequear las maquinarias antes de empezar a trabajar. Ok. Antes de que empezaban a trabajar. Todo esto en pasado. En los siguientes ejemplos. I'm used to wake up early. Yo estoy acostumbrado, ojo, yo estoy acostumbrado. I'm used to wake up early. I'm getting used to wake up early. Okay. Me estoy acostumbrando a levantarme temprano. I used to wake up early. Yo solía levantarme temprano. So think about it. Es muy utilizado esto, eh? And get used to, used, used to. Okay. <laughs> get used to, used, used to. Acostúmbrense a utilizar used to. Ok. Ok, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Es muy útil eso. Eh? You have to study much. Let's see. Ok. Um, Miss Hughes, I agree. Ok. Let's move on. Let me do the attendance before we go anywhere. Let's see. Please turn on your cameras, everybody. Just for a minute. Turn on your camera. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present, teacher. Ok. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Here yet, Ana Selmi Chévez. Present. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. He's here, Edwin. Flor de María Carballo Garte. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Present. Hey, Gabriel. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. ¿Alguien conoce a Julia? No. Coworkers. No. Yes, she worked with me. Any any idea what's going on? Nope, but I will ask her tomorrow. Please. Please let her know she's missing too many classes. Okay. okay. <laughs> Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Thank you. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. I know his working right now. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Ofelia was here a minute ago. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Pame, okay. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Okay. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Okay. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Perez. Got it. Thank you, Stephanie. Susana Carolina Hernandez Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Excellent. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Yo comprendo que hay muchos que pues tienen que trabajar y pues han hecho el esfuerzo de estar acá presentes. Solo recordarles nada más 
que ese momento es el que toma Insafor, ¿verdad? Al auditar los videos para asegurarse que sea usted el que está tomando la clase y no alguien más en su lugar. Ya. Que se está usando la beca, pues. Ok. Good. So let's continue. Last topic. Yesterday you had the opportunity to talk for a few minutes at the end of the class with your groups about what? What was the topic about? What, what did you have to do yesterday? About uh, our small business. Mm -hmm. But you had to identify what, something, what right? Kind, what kind of trains do we need to, to, to start with? To start with mm -hmm. the, the business. Okay. Were you able to get some ideas? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Would you like to share your ideas with the group? Okay, yes. We were talking about uh, uh, the event, event what? Event, event planning? Event planning, yes. And we were talking uh, that we need trainings, trainings about uh, communication and some trainings about um, Catherine, Catherine, can I say Catherine? Gather, gathering. Catherine, yeah. Like ga gathering. That, no, Catherine, Catherine or gathering? No. Yeah. Gat um, there are oh, two. Catherine, Catherine, Catherine is like abastecerse. Yeah, uh -huh. but um, like um, servicio de comidas. Oh, okay, yeah, that's yeah. Catherine, yeah. Catherine, uh huh. Would you okay. type it? Type it. Yeah. And how do you pronounce the name, Catherine? <laughs> I, I'm trying to remember because I, I knew <laughs> gathering. Yeah, no, Catherine. It's like this, Catherine. With G. Uh huh, mm -hmm. Catherine. Yeah. yeah. Catherine. Yeah. Because the someone who works in even planning needs to know about food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. And what else? Uh, training about um, my God, um, I don't remember. Can you help me? <laughs> yes. So you say ca catering, catering, catering. Okay. Catering. Catering. The other. The other training are the. Uh, training related to the organization uh, and the other the negotiation in the preparation of budget for event for each event um, and the other for us is very important the training related to the he could, he could manage um, about the self-control because the level of the stre stress is high. <laughs> yeah, you don't want the waiters, yes. you don't want the, the helpers to kill somebody, right? To kill a client. <laughs> yes. Also near the skill Yeah. <laughs> Also needs some nego negotiation and budgeting. Budgeting. Because budgeting, because he wants to know about budgets. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, because if, if as a customer, I say, I, I only have $2,000, yeah. that's mm -hmm. all. What can I do? <laughs> what can I do? Yeah. yeah. It requires a lot of experience to be in that business. Okay. No, Philly just just uh, joined. Let me see. 
Okay, anybody else? What else did you discuss? Three. Adriana is not with us today. Come on, guys. What other things do you remember? Anybody else? Um, in our case, that we have to, our, our business uh, is online gym. We were talking about like that. Uh, the coaches or the trainer must to know how to motivate people uh, because it's not it's not uh, easy sometimes to motivate people when you are in front of them uh, you can imagine when you are in a in a, in a you're computer. far away exactly <laughs> and then we're talking about that uh, the nutrition skills that the coaches or the nutritionist must have or know to the people who join the classes uh, reach their goals about uh, lose weight, uh, gain muscles, or depends what they want. Um, the other thing was the routines or the, or the exercise that uh, must be different for every class in not doing the same routine for for each class. So I think that we we agreed that that was the three maybe topics that we most improve in our uh, employees. Hmm. Man, that that's a tough thing. How, how could you, but that's on the next module, I think, marketing, how, how do you compete with all the applications that are there on the market right now? There's a guy, I hate that ad because, oh man, when I play YouTube and I, I'm poor, so I don't pay a YouTube subscription, it's like $9 a month, but I don't pay for it. <laughs> so I have to, I have to deal with, <laughs> let me see, I have to to deal with um, the ads on YouTube, to deal with. I have to deal with the ads on YouTube. So I have seen this guy selling his course. It's called something like V Shredded, V Shred. How to become V Shredded, to have a, a, the six pack, you know, Can't remember how, how how they spell that shred shredded shredded and is because for men for us is is very difficult to kill the valley right yes and I read that is not only doing the exercise is it's also about what you are eating. It's not only to uh, uh, start to eat less uh, uh, grasa. Uh, how do you say that? I don't remember. Stop eating fat. Exactly. Stop eating fat. Uh, eat, is... more, eat, eat more carbs. Exactly. So in the case of the, the apps, I read that if you can make 1,000 apps, and you will never get the shred of your stomach because you have the fat in front of the muscle. So you have, you have the to lose... belly, belly fat. Okay, mm -hmm. so you have to lose the belly fat first in order that the muscle appears. So everyone can say whatever, like you were saying in the ads. Also, if you use TikTok, there's a lot of people who are trying to explain or trying to teach others how to lose weight, how to they can get uh, most of it, whatever. But what you don't know is maybe that they are using another um, things. Other methods. Exactly, to lose weight. Maybe they're uh, 
they're using asteroids and whatever, and they show you something that it's, if you're doing naturally, it's impossible. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, theories, right? And studies nowadays. It's crazy how people want to be fit, which is something good. I think it's something very positive about this generation. Teenagers are always wanting to go to the gym, you know, being fit, being fit. And all adults, we give up. <laughs> so we give up when we see pupusas or atoll, I don't know, whatever. You just don't want to know about exercising. Okay, so yeah, that was a topic yesterday. What training needs do we have? What's up next? Next, we need to do a little presentation. And I only have, hold on. So far I have five groups, but the problem that I'm finding is 18 participants, let's see. The problem that I'm finding is that, for example, group number one, I only have Carla and Wilfredo from yesterday's group. Well, I have Ophelia. Wait a minute. Ophelia was with them yesterday. You know what? I'll just go ahead and open the rooms and assign Ophelia in a minute to that group. And also someone else. So let's do it. Let's talk about yesterday but at the same time uh there is an article that we need to work on hmm let me think for a minute so the article talks about how to assess training needs the whole point is to read the article so you can do a brief exposition, you know. I'll just go ahead and send it to you through WhatsApp right now. Let me see if I can just arrange things. Okay, there's all employees. Yep, it's not copying as a one text only. Allow me just a minute. First one goes on the facilitator, then it goes to ask edge. Sorry, guys, I lost the configuration. There you go. Okay, number one, number two. We are still on the same groups. Just the way you see the list on WhatsApp. If you go to your WhatsApp, you're gonna be with the same teams. Almost there. Or when employees and the last one, six list tick. There you go. Okay, so here you go. It's six points in total. So group number one will work on bullet points one and two. Eh, super rápido. El equipo uno va a trabajar. Uy, no, pero solo Carla y Wilfredo y Ophelia. So you know what? It's not going to work. Uh, group number one, Carla, Wilfredo, and Ophelia, you're going to work on group on topic number one. Okay. And so on. The last group, group number five, Ana, Rosa, and Sandra, will work on bullet points five and six. Remember, it's just about, number one, giving your own opinion, giving your own opinion about the lecturing. It's, it's very brief. It's just like four or five lines for each paragraph. Just give your own idea. And number two, find new words. If you find a new word, just give us the definition, maybe an example on how to use that word, okay? Shall we? I got it. Shall we? <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's do it then. I shall. 
<laughs> Let, now you say, let's do it. Okay, shall let's we? Do it. Yeah, let's, let's do, do, it. do it. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's do it. I'm reassigning Adriana, Edwin, and Ophelia right now. They were not here yet. Okay. One. Adriana was on group number three. Edwin. I'm sorry, teacher. I returned. You just came back. Okay, don't worry. Where is, oh my God, where, Edwin? Alexander, where were you? You were not here yesterday, right? Uh, yeah, okay. So Edwin, it's been Edwin on group number four. And now Adriana, you need to be on group number three again. There you go. Okay, Ana, tell me, did you receive the invitation? Yes, because, but I return because in the end I I listen and you you was a you, you were a, you were a giving instructions instruct, the other instruction. <laughs> no, sorry. don't worry. Okay, I just send you the invitation yeah. if you may sorry. take it. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're yes. welcome. Thank you. Stephanie is busy, Nelson is working. Okay, let's go. I understand that with the discussion about the training and do, uh, do a bullet for a uh, we need to 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 the project okay. let's do it yesterday you told us that the first of the the training it is a um let me see money um, i i remember that <laughs> i remember Tell me. i remember that first of all Employee must take a full handling training. And next, uh, the following course is about the process of making chocolate. Yes. Um, we also made a bullet of everything we need. For example, for example, rent a place, buy raw material, produce, produce the product for sales. Yes, because I, I guess that it is it is, okay. it is so important because they need to know what kind of ingredient or or quantity quantity they need okay. to produce. Yes, to produce. Yeah. Um, I, mean. I, I believe that for a budget of the ten thousand dollars, we we can only have. An artesian business, not a product that is not very processed, it's because for a pro for a product very processed, we need more more machine for for what the raw material. Yes, it is depend because if you if you want to produce in in industrial quantity uh, oh, yes. we are going to need we are going to need <laughs> i don't know another another machine for example or um uh, i don't know really because i don't know what kind of uh of uh what kind of machine we need Yesterday I shared with you, but in the chat. Emphasis. Emphasis. Uh -huh. 
Empatía. Énfasis es empatía. Empat con Y. Empat Emphasis es como énfasis. Pero este sería como, como, como énfasis. Emphasis. Ajá, como, ajá, énfasis. Yep, emphasize. Ajá, porque énfasis es pH. Ajá. And Esta do you, do you have emphasis, emphasis and emphasize? Emphasize. Okay. Yeah, in the text you have emphasize. You can also find emphasis. Okay, uh -huh. emphasis is for me a new word. Um, other look new look at your WhatsApp. Me. Do you yes. see your WhatsApp? Okay. Yes, I see. We read, we understand, we make in other works. Words, I'm sorry. And now I am looking a new words for me. <laughs> okay. Come up with your own thoughts about the reading, right? Yes. What do you think about the reading? Assessment. Okay. I forget what is I mean assessment. A and, test. Um, Analyze. Yes. Okay. Training. I think only two emphasize and assessment. Only two words for me. And you, Walter? Okay, in my opinion. Which which word do you say? Flip. Flip. Ajá. Dar, dar la vuelta. Flip. A uh, flip chart is uh, is like a, it's like a table that you have and you put a page on that table and you do this. Mm. Yeah. So you have a you have a table, or or can can you have a something bigger and. It's a page you write down and then you do this. Ah, uh, okay. That is a flipboard. Flip ah, chart. or flight chart. Uh huh. Flip, flip chart. Um, uh, flip. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. The facilitator capture the state the training meet on the whiteboard of flip chart. Uh -huh. That's why I said that the facilitator captures. Mm -hmm. That state training needs on the whiteboard or flip chart. Um, okay, don't write duplicates, but do, but do confirm by questioning that the training need that on the surface appears to be a duplicate, mm -hmm. is an exact duplicate. Otherwise, participant can feel as if their needs were ignored or marginalized. Um, I think that could be marginalized. Marginalized. Uh, Hello. Pamela, Edwin, are you busy? Hello, teacher. How are you? Doing great. How about you? I'm a little bit sick, you know. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. Since yesterday, <laughs> uh, my wife and my my daughters get sick, sick too. I don't know how. But are sick? They are sick too. They are sick too. Yes. Yesterday we went to the social and we all got. Um, how do you say when you got they they off because you got sick? Mm -hmm. so um a medical leave medical leave exactly so um it's kind of uh, like the garganta is like that we have a, mm -hmm. uh -huh, yeah i have problems with that so um yesterday was horrible for me because uh, i went to work and because my boss needs something important mm -hmm. And then a storm came, and actually, because uh, I ride a motorcycle, I get wet again. You got, like, you got, yeah, you got was, wet. Yeah, I got wet again. Uh, it, it, it gets me more 
like <laughs> how do you say the um your sore throat yeah the words you know so okay. <clears throat> yeah that's the reason i i could could speak uh you know if you see my my voice is kind of different yeah I, I can tell but that's okay don't worry yeah thank you thank you for being here thank you but man i yeah. think she's working or something probably yes because i tried to talk to her but she's like i don't know yeah don't worry let's not talk about pamela <laughs> okay okay man get better get better yeah thank you teacher <clears throat> Use, use more uh, technology. Technology is uh, or, or, or wider board to make yeah. use technology. In a few words, in this paragraph, I understand that you need to make notes. Necessary because, yes. uh, time. It doesn't, time. It doesn't matter how do you do, but if, if you are modern, <laughs> You you can use a, a dry erase board. I like it. <laughs> yes, uh, wet white. Yeah. Also, a sticky dot. Sticky dot are posit. I think. Sticky what dot. What is a sticky dot? Yeah, it's like a posit. Posit. I, yeah, posit. The glue. Yeah, the glue. Then, um, glue dots. Yeah. This. The zip dots. Yeah, it's like a Postic. Yeah, sticky yeah, dot. Like positive, but in this case, stick it up. I like it. Stick it, stick it up. <laughs> Not positive. <laughs> okay, you stick it up. Yeah, in a few words, I understand this in that parallel. Okay. It's necessary is to schedule training for the employees. Yes. And, and necessary or in order or require required yeah. training for the brainstorm. Um, in the other section. Oh, just, the other. Oh, okay, yes. sorry. The number six. Yes, the six, number six. Six. In the third step, to do the list. Yeah. Of the, um, time. Time is important. We need to take time. Yes. To yes. Schedule, yes. To schedule another session. Program. Yeah. According to the, <laughs> according to the first of, the first three to five. Uh -huh, the first three or five training sessions identify. Uh -huh, according to the three or, the first. Oh my God, sorry. According the first three to five needs that we identify in the training process. Yeah. Mm. What's meaning the first three? It's like uh, number one, two, three, four, five. The primeras <laughs> tres or cinco. Uh -huh. yeah. The first three or five uh -huh. training section. The first three uh -huh. to five. Session? Uh-huh. Number one, Patience. number two, number two. <laughs> <laughs> Finding is the is been process. Yes. Primeras tres. Es sí, las primeras tres a las a Primeras cinco. tres. Uh -huh. Sí. Three to five training sessions. Sessions? What is the right? Uh, o o meeting. O meeting. O meeting. Identify needs. Yes. Yeah, okay. You can schedule more brainstorm meditate, but you will generally find that you need what is riddle? Riddle? Uh -huh. <laughs> riddle. Riddle? Riddle the needs of seven. Riddle meaning. Riddle is the song. New words, riddle. Riddle. New words, riddle. Riddle. Rehacer. Yes. Riddle. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Riddle. Do something again or differently. To it's do. A bear. It's a bear. Again. Like a, no, like a noun, noun 
is a radical railing of a room or, or building. In that, in that case, I think that is a verb because we need to do something again or differently. Differently. The fine, you need to riddle. Uh -huh, yeah. Fine. Well, we need to uh, do again, but in a different way. <laughs> Maybe reprocess mm -hmm. or, or review. Something, uh -huh, something that is not according to the. Ya los mm -hmm. ir a buscar. Yeah, something that is not according to the. To the what? <laughs> How um, do you pronounce sessions? Please, sessions. Sessions? Sessions, sessions. Como a meeting? Sessions. Say Ses the meeting? Sessions, I think. Sessions. Sessions. Sessions? Sessiones? It's a double S. Right. For sessiones or meeting? Sessions. Uh, let me find sessions. Uh huh. Sessions. 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 Mm -hmm. Sessions. Sessions. Okay. Like that. Sessions. Sections. Sessions. Like a sessions. But the section is the part of the <laughs> article. Sessions. Yes. Sections. Yes. Yeah. No, sessions. that is se section. Session. Yeah, this is session. Mm. Session. Different. Session. Yeah. Session. 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 This is session. It's, it's the uh -huh. same thing when, when you pronounce education. Education. Uh -huh. <laughs> sounds like education. Session. Session. It sounds like shen. Session. Session. In the part of the article, section. Uh -huh. In the article, it goes like section with a, with a Z. Uh -huh. Section uh -huh. number one. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, Correct. section. Is a, that is a part. Mm -hmm. But in this case, section. Section. Uh -huh. section. A, section. Piece, a piece of something. That's right. Section. Oh, but you have training okay. sessions. 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 Mm -hmm. Sessions. 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 Yes. Sessions. 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 Deja de pensar en ahí. No hay I. It's like uh -huh. sensation. Session. Yeah. Session. It's like Aita. sensation. Perfect. Session. Yeah. Sensational. Uh -huh. sensational. That is sensational. Ambition. <laughs> Ambition. Oh, me. Ambition. Mission. 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 Good. Yeah. Ambition. Ambition. Yeah. All, yeah. all Ambition. the Ambition. <laughs> Submission. Submission. Mm -hmm. Good job. Conviction. 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 Conviction, yeah, there are many words. Okay, assessment process, employees needs. You can schedule more brainstorming. Riddle. Riddle. Brainstorming. Riddle, 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 it's okay. To redo, riddle. redo. Redo. Uh, redo. Ah. redo. To redo like, something. Like redo. Uh, redo. Yeah, redo, ah, specifically, okay. yeah. It's repeat. Yeah, that's a, yeah. That's a, a prefix, it's a prefix the re, re ah, is the prefix. Okay. Re, uh, re, replay. Yes. <laughs> there re, are many, many, re, many re. words. Yeah, right. replay. That's a, oh, what are the, what are you watching? I'm watching a replay. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm watching a rerun. Rewind? Re a rerun. Re no, re rewind is not no, a suffix. No, not. rewind is a one word. Ah, okay. Rewind, yeah, go backwards. Ah, okay, okay. Excellent. Rerun, Redo. it's a rerun. Redo. 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 Yeah. Redo. Ah. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, it's a remake. Uh huh. But mm, the, they're planning. They're planning a remake of. But of Pinocho, you... there are three remakes of Pinocho, so they're planning a fourth remake. <laughs> But you can write together. I think it's together, remake. yeah. Yeah, remake. I think replace. so. Replace, replace, remake. Oh no, no, no. Um, no. no. Hmm. Yeah, it goes together. Remake, redo, yeah. rerun. I thought it was hyphenated actually. 
But no, no, it's okay. Yeah, it goes together, reorder. girl. Reorder. Reorder. It goes together. Reorder. Reorganize. Uh -huh. Reorder. Uh -huh. Reorganize. Uh -huh. Reorganize. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. 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 Good idea. We do the needs assessment process after the first yeah. few, few, right? A few training sessions. Yeah. Well, the training needs change as they continue learn and grow. 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 No. Uh -huh. Grow. The other is grow. Grow. Growth. 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 But that's different. Uh huh. Okay. This is grow. Grow. Growth is, grow. is the is the is the noun. Mm -hmm. It's a noun for the increase. Is there enough growth? Are there any growth growth opportunities on your in your job? Grow. Mm -hmm. Are there any growth opportunities in your job? Well, it's like it's like increase. Um, or, or get bigger. To get bigger, to get a better position. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You can say growth. No, aprender y crecer. Um, mm. Yes, you can use it in that in that context too. Continue aprendizaje, en crecimiento. Mm -hmm. Yes. Come again, Sandra. Continue. Continues gr growing. Growing. Growing, and that's the verb grow. Grow. Okay. You say become larger. Bigger, to become mm -hmm. bigger, become larger, bigger for people, larger for things. Okay. He's, he's getting bigger. My son is 12 years old, but he's getting bigger, okay. bigger than me, actually. And um, his, as he's growing, he's growing, you know. Mm -hmm. okay. So interesting, right? Okay, let's get ready to go back in one minute. Okay. What is the, the new words for me? For you. For me, yes. Redo. Ah, a sticky Redo. dot. A sticky dot. Yes. Yes. A sticky dot. Uh -huh, yes. Sticky dot. Okay. I Redo. close me my WhatsApp. <laughs> Red, redo. Uh, What's a new word? Redo. 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 Uh -huh. and... Get you run of my head. And I feel that I mean something from that we have. You're always around me. Good ages, when I epochas. You know, when I when I, I I don't know why I'm singing that song, but I, I thought about driving at night to the beach. Really? This is the name of the song? No, no, I I'm, I, I just ah. picture ah. myself. You know ah. how it is. You know how it is when you're driving and you're listening to music and 
you go like listening to those my, these songs i don't know my middle child and my youngest both play the guitar and I, they i like to to sing but they they like to to this kind of, this kind of music really but yes more than war they enjoy how old, how old are they excuse me how old are they oh, 16 years 16 and years. 11 years what how did you That's do for them uh -huh. to like your your music i mean because i like to listen to when i, I do exercise or we are, or we are doing anything activity they <laughs> always are listening to music with me <laughs> my my middle my middle child told me hey daddy and he started he started yeah. playing the guitar yeah. and you got and yeah. you got him you, you got him a guitar yes okay yeah. yeah my son plays guess... a guitar too but he's he's just studying and it's because i have two guitars you know so he he liked the electric guitar but he's lazy and he gave he gave up because his fingers started hurting yeah, you know with, with the strings the metal strings so he was like oh no this is too hard when they start to play it is so hard because the fingers are poor i know but that's part of the growing but they they like to to sing these songs that's then awesome I that's I love you. yeah more than words extreme more than and that that was the only song they they actually that was their only hit that was their only hit yeah, they, it's like they, it's like this this group uh what was the name mr big oh no but mr big had like three songs and, and one of them I know one who wants to be with you. <laughs> yeah. Deep inside, I hope you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Continue, oh. continue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I played that song with some students when I used to teach live classes. Uh, I had in basic three, I used to take my guitar, you know, and if someone used to play, you know, so they, you had to make, to do a karaoke song, a karaoke song, or I could play. So I prepared once with a group of students, you know, okay, I'm gonna play and you have to learn the lyrics of okay. Mr. Big, to be with you, okay. to be with you is the name of the song. That was amazing. Okay, so. <laughs> That's in that, in that way, I learned English in 1983. 1983, uh-huh. When, uh -huh. I, hear, ooh, when I was in seventh grade, we, uh, oh my God, we learn, learn, yeah. We learned the song, um, We Are the World. We Are the World. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, that was a- In that, uh, that year, I learned that song. <laughs> that was a trendy, that was a trendy song in that, and back back then, back in 1983. Really? Yeah, I mean, there was like a new, a new hit, a new song, oh. right? In the 80s, yeah. when, when they got together, um, Paul, man, there were so many, artists yeah, yeah there are so many artists there, in the, on that video you have uh this guy what's his name the piano oh, Ray guy Charles. Ray the, no, Charles. no 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 oh, <laughs> no it's Wonder, not Rachel. Stevie, Wonder. Stevie, Stevie Wonder. Wonder yeah you had I think Jose Feliciano was there too yeah Jose Feliciano. can you imagine if you Jose do Feliciano, no, if Jose you Feliciano. do Stevie Wonder no, yeah, Jose Feliciano, no. <laughs> he was on that song <laughs> okay if you put Jose Feliciano next to Stevie Wonder they hit each other <laughs> yeah, because sure, yeah, sure. Stevie Wonder goes like, and Jose <laughs> Fasciano goes like. <laughs> okay. Oh my God! Yeah, what's up? How how old are your son, teacher? How old are my sons? Uh, I have two two boys. Uh, okay. But my eldest son is is 12, 13, 13 years old. 13. He just he just turned thirteen this year, and um, and my youngest son is ten years old. 10 year old, oh, okay. years old and my daughter is seven oh. and the other no nah, i'm just kidding it's, ah. just three. <laughs> it's just three okay guys let me do the attendance so you can come to the front and then we're gonna play something okay so please turn on your camera if possible turn on your camera ada patricia linares galdames hmm she left, I think. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. 
Eh, Anaselmi Cheves. Yep. Well, she got frozen, I guess. Edwin Alexander Ayala Eraso. Present. Thank you. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Present. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Here today. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Was here. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Yeah, Present teacher. Good. Ofelia Oriana Arce. Here teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. There she is. She's connecting again. Okay. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Presentation. Stephanie yeah. Elizabeth Ayala Perez. Stephanie was here. There she is. Yes. Susana Carolina Hernandez Iraeta. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Yeah. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Yeah, there you are. Thank you. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Okay, so let me see. Um, Edwin feels a little bit sick. Wendy is talking, Ophelia is talking to so I'm just going to do a, a quick list. I'm sorry. Give me just a minute. Okay, so who wants to share really quick? Uh, well, we have to go in order, right? We have an order to follow because of the topics. So let's go with group number one, Carla, Ophelia, and Wilfredo. Give me your opinions about the first paragraph. What's an easy paragraph? Okay, Carla, Ophelia, or Walter, did I say? Oh, okay, good. Carla, Ophelia, and Wilfredo. Okay, whenever you're ready. You are sharing, Wilfredo, you're sharing your WhatsApp with us. So if you have anything that you don't want us to see, uh-oh. <laughs> And Wilfredo, are you ready? Okay, I'm sorry. It's okay. Will you hear me? Yep. I'm um, okay. We are going to try to explain what kind of training that people need to take to process um, about chocolate. The mm -hmm. first, all people, all employees must to have full handling training because they are going to mix in some ingredients to uh, in the in the chocolate process. And the following course is about the process of making chocolate. Then in this process, many uh, all employees and need to, they need to know, uh, for example, to mix the ingredients, for example, if they are going to, to start the process. And it is so important because they need to, they need to know um, uh, about quantity or quality about ingredients, for example, because they are going to produce um, it's a, a food. Then we also make a list 
of everything we need. First, we need rent a place to start to to or, or to start our business. Uh, we need to to buy raw material and produce the product for for sale. Hire uh, operators or employee. We believe that for a budget of of um, 10 uh, thousand dollars, we can only have an artesian business, a product that is not very processed. And we 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 think we thought about because it is if we need if we want to produce and um, for example a uh, industrial quantity uh, we need to buy another another machine then we are going to start artesian chocolate business and then we asked how chocolate it is made the chocolate it is a food that is obtained by mixing sugar with two product, product derived from the manipulation of cocoa, cocoa beans, cocoa mass, or cocoa butter. From this basic combination, the different types of chocolate are made, which, which depend of the proportion between the element and their mixture. Uh, although this is it is uh, optional, it is dependent. You you can you can produce another type or kind of chocolate. You can use another ingredient, for example, you can mix it with uh, nut, milk, or kind of material. Then we we need to we need to start a business and another training for example we were talking with carla and, and ophelia it is a, another important training that the people need to receive it is a customer service because in many places it is so so hard when when we go to buy something and but the customer service they they gave us or give us a bad service it is it is it is bad then teacher this is our process i don't know if you have any question carla and ophelia they they, they are going to help me to answer you <laughs> i like that okay no i i think you said it right. I mean, it's just clarification. Is there a difference between, um, hold on. Uh, is there a difference between manufacturing and artisanal production? Yes, it's different be be because in a manufacturing production, we need a different kind of machine. And in an artisan uh, artisanal product, uh, don't need many machines because uh, the raw material is a cocoa. In is cocoa or I I don't know cacao. <laughs> cocoa beans. Ah, uh, cocoa beans. Yes, cocoa beans. With and there's sugar. a difference. There's a yes. difference between cocoa and, and cocoa beans. Co 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 well, what? Hold on. Chocolate beans? No. Cocoa beans, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah? Coconut. Mm -hmm. No, wait. Wait a minute. <laughs> cacao. So how do you say cacao in English? I don't think that's chocolate. Hmm. Oh, oh, it oh. is cocoa. It is cocoa. We're right. We're right. Why do we? What are, okay, good. So cocoa beans. Okay, yeah. There's mm -hmm. a difference for us. There's a well, no. In reality, there is a difference between cocoa powder, which is what Wilfredo is is projecting, the cocoa powder, and they mix it with with cinnamon, right? 
Yes. If it's cinnamon, yes. sugar. Eh, eh, do, eh, do, do can, no, no, you can do a different mix of, for example, cocoa with milk, cocoa with mint, cocoa with eh, any eh, eh, different uh, seeds. Eh, caramel, for example. Caramels, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I like that. Yeah, that's my favorite meal of all times. Hey guys, if you want to make a good chocolate, we are going to share with you this receipt. You can. Oh. This is a good idea to go to bed and rest a lot. <laughs> with that's a, a great good idea. Chocolate. Okay. So 500 grams of raw cocoa beans half cup of sugar additional sure. flavor like mint teacher mm -hmm. we were talking about it is correct say a uh, half cup half cup yes i'm okay you can, i mean I'm some people okay. say it's half a cup half cup half. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. half a cup of sugar Additional flavor, you can use mint. Okay, half teaspoon of vanilla, half teaspoon of vanilla. Hmm. And 650 millimeters of milk. Okay. Good. Good job, good job. Okay, you may stop sharing if you want. Can, can do it from here for some reason. Wow. Okay, so that was group number one. Let's go with group number two really quick. Group number two, we have Susana, Wendy, and Walter. Teacher, I am confused. Oh, wait a minute. Because we... So, Uh-huh, Susana? Yes, I understand the activity, the other form. In another way, yeah, no, no, they add something else. I don't. Yeah, then don't worry. Do it. I told you. Yeah, okay. you can. You can tell we us. But before, before that, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. Did you find any new word, uh, Wilfredo, Carla, and Ophelia? Did you find any new word? on your paragraph, the piece of paragraph that you had? No? Excuse me, teacher. Did you find any new word on the paragraph that you read? Yes. yes for example, uh, we, we were talking about this, how we, we can say media cuchara or media, media taza, hmm, but, but I, I, for example, this is new for me because I only when I watch um, soccer match, half time. Yes, but I, I half an hour, that. half yes. an hour. Yes, and then okay. new world. No, it is okay, teacher. No, right? Yeah, there were no difficult words on the first paragraph. Yes. Okay, let's go, Susanita. If you may, please, um, with second paragraph. Okay, thank you. Okay, we don't have a presentation, only told you. Um, we understand that we ask the employee what are the topics of interest date, the teams, and evaluate if they can be given. We think this serves to have a training plan for future requirements. And we found five new words. The first is emphasize, uh, suck, assert, deploy, product training, and assessment. Only two are verbs, emphasize and 
And the second, and forget the word. I told you, and I forget. Assessment. Yeah, that, and I didn't get it. I okay, didn't find it. Have... Uh -huh. Assessment took, to, you said, or something. You see? This is my assessment. word. I am for what you mean. <laughs> and we have only two examples uh -huh. with emphasize. Mm -hmm. If I need to emphasize my ideas so they understand. So and they are, wait, wait. I need to emphasize my ideas so they are understood. I employee in this case. Right, right. In the class. Okay. And the second. No, the second, the second is bad. Is bad. Is bad. Take the example. I don't have other examples. I see good. No. Only one. That's okay. So I need to emphasize my ideas. This is a good one. To make myself. Oh my God, this keyboard, myself clearer. Okay, I need to emphasize my ideas to make myself clearer. I need to emphasize my ideas to make myself clearer. Sounds good, right? I need to emphasize my ideas. Yeah, necesito enfatizar mis ideas para darme a entender. Okay. <laughs> in the other world, mm -hmm. if, if not a verbs, we don't make examples. And suk, deploy, and broad training. Hold on, hold on. But the second, that one, I'm not getting it. Suk, suk, should, S-H-O-U-L-D? S-U-C-H. S-U, oh, such, such. Uh, are such broad training needs. Okay, so communication mm -hmm. or team building are such broad training needs. And the play, the play, play, I don't know. D-E-E-P-L. Deeply. Mm -hmm. Deeply. Okay. Deeply. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, hey, that's a good one too. So such, it's a quantifier. Where is the chat? Here it is. Such is a quantifier. But in this case, it's working as tan. Okay. So such broad training needs. Uh, and it was, it said team building, hold on, communication and or team building, communication or team building are such broad training needs. Okay. okay. Son tan extensas, such broad mm -hmm. training needs. Pero en este contexto, ojo, cómo se está ocupando ahí, ¿eh? La comunicación y el trabajo en equipo o, o actividades de, de trabajo en equipo son necesidades de entrenamiento tan extensas. Así se traduciría, tan extensas. Such broad training needs. Ok. That was a good one. Now, deeply, deeply is an adjective. Um, and with the Y at the end, with the L-Y, it's making it um, an adverb. So you have, as an adjective, deep, okay? As, what did I say? Adverb. Adverb, as an adverb, you just add the L-Y. Now, mind this, deep, um, profundo, right? Okay. Now, deeply, what, what will it be? Deeply. Profundamente. Like, yes. Thank you, Gabriel. <laughs> I mistyped it. I'm sorry. And then you have, for example, sad, and you add the... You remember, you remember the song like Fresh Burden, Truly Mighty Deeply? Hey, good, Susana. Yeah, truly, madly, deeply. That's right. Okay, so you have sadly, sad, sadly, happy, happily, and so on, right? You, you can make an adjective, an adverb, just by adding the L-Y, because the L-Y means mente, right? Good job. Thank you. 
<laughs> okay, let's see who is next and let's spit it up. Let's spit it up. Adriana, Gabriela, and Nelson. Oh my God, Gabriel, I guess you worked alone, right? Because Adriana is in the university and Nelson is working. <laughs> no, but Adriana was with me. Really? Oh, okay, good. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Yes, we work together. Okay, you may go. Okay, so the third, uh, I will try to explain what the paragraphs say. Uh, we're talking about how to assess training needs. So in this case said that um, if we have uh, an employees, we gather with them and we ask them that they give us 10 training needs. So we have to write it down in a whiteboard or in a flip chart. And uh, when they are telling us about their needs, we are trying to identify that the first one, for example, if the first one uh, employee is Carlos, that the need that he tell us, they are not uh, the same need that Pedro is telling us. So in order to not, to not, do not duplicate that need, we must ask, for example, Pedro, if the need is in the chart or in the whiteboard. So we give them to, we give him the importance and we don't ignore that, that need that he told us. And, and I think that, that it's also, at, at the end, we must like, let's say, let's say uh, the, let's say, let me find her. I don't remember that the, the group before, that we must emphasize in the necessities of their employees. So, and we have to be uh, empathetic and uh, empathetic with him, with them, in order to they not feel uh, bad about what they are suggesting. Okay. Uh, we identify the following words and the first uh, surface. Surface is an uh, external part of a, of an object. Um, for example, this is my notebook and the surface, this is. Um, the next word is flip chart. Flip chart is an object used to place and Usually a uh, large or big sheet bone paper in using in excavation or meeting. And the last word is marginalized. Marginalized. Marginalized is when a person is excluded from a, a group. I'm sorry, when a person? Mm. You were given an example, the last thing you said. No, after oh. marginalized. Oh. And you were given an example, I missed that. <laughs> I'm taking notes. <laughs> you said a word, I don't know. Uh, Marginalized. Mar marginalized. marginalized. Okay. Marginalized. Uh, so the right pronunciation is marginalized. It's a difficult word. It's a difficult word. Um, marginalized. 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 Yeah. Marginalized. Marginalized. Difficult. Okay. And, and the other one, um, you were saying exhibitions. Exhibition, exhibitions. How do we call this in Spanish? Uh, the 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 flip chart, a flip chart. Rotafolio. Rotafolio, right? Rotafolio. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. but they, my, my uncle used to call it um, papelógrafo. I think it's the same thing. Okay. Man, there's a lot of words. Thank you guys. That was that was really good, actually. I'll correct some things later. Okay, great job. Let's go with the next group. And we have group number four. There's just, oh, no, no, no. I'm going to jump that group for, for now. And I have no, group number five, Anaselmi, Roselena, and Sandra. If you may, please. I'm going to talk about the number five. Um, okay. Oh my God. Um, in, the, in the point number five, uh, we were talking about that in that point, um, like an even planning, even planning. Oh my God. I, I ever forget the word because I remember. Even planner. planner. Yeah. I remember the movie Wedding Planner. <laughs> uh, me too. Yeah, <laughs> is we need to we need to do a list uh, a list of the the needs in order of importance with the numbers of the points assigned. For example, to the first until the the end in this case maybe one two three four five points the most important um we can do it with a stick sticky dot i like that word stick sticky dot uh, but uh, it, here's mentioned that if we have a, a laptop or something more technology like a dry erase board or a word whiteboard we can do in that way. In a few words, uh, the only thing that we have to do is make a list, make a list of the most important uh, points in the training. In that case, is this is the number five, and Aselmi can, can explain the number six. Thank you, Rosie. And um, about the number six, um, it related to the that that is important to take time for um, review the what is the important uh, training or kind of the training um, is the, the suggestion is the to do the brainstorm. We brainstormed um, and to defi define the what is the outcomes or goals related to the training. The trainings um, it's important to to review the fear three to five training session. Session. <laughs> sessions, right, teacher? Questions. Uh, sessions. Oh, sessions. Okay, yeah. Session. Yes. Session. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, that that point, the point number six for me is, is one of the most important ones. Um, because the first part, look what it says: our schedule. Take time or schedule yeah. another session to brainstorm the needed outcomes or goals for the first three or five training sessions identified in the needs assessment process. So uh, remember that the most important part is always the outcome. Do you understand yeah. the out outcome? What is the outcome, guys? Uh, what is a synonym for outcome? Mm. Yes. Come on. Re the result. Result. That's yes. right. 
the result, outcome result. Okay, and so always a result is like the most important thing, whatever you do in your job, you know, it's like the outcome, the result is the most important thing. Okay, and is that one of the words you found? Um, can you give me three new words you found? Mm, redo. Redo. Mm -hmm. And that's redo. an in, that's an interesting topic for everybody. The suffix uh, re. I'm sorry. The prefix prefix re, re redo replay, retell. Retell the story. Yeah. Yeah. Resume. The other word he used, Rossi, sticky dot. In that way, sticky dot boring. I understand that boring is the word. That boring is something when you put uh, different points. Like uh, a dot. Uh, yeah, but in, the, in this case, it's talking about post its for example. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That sticky dots is like dot. uh -huh. a little like dot. A uh -huh. It's like a uh, it's, like it's, a it's it's just a dot. Like a dot. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's right. Underway. <laughs> well, the process is underway. It's running, you know, whenever when when the plan is in um, action. Ongoing to teach. Ongoing. When the process is ongoing, mm -hmm. it's underway. Okay. Brainstorm. Brainstorm. I think that that will be all. Okay. Good. Thank you, guys. Okay, let's go with something else. I wonder if we should do vocabulary first regarding, but hold on, let me see. We have to do about training, I'm sure the effects of training programs, the effects. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go with this. Let's learn some vocabulary related to the topic today. You have been talking about um, benefits, how to identify the, the training needs, what you're going to do first, what are you going to do later. But in reality, it's all oriented to um, understand how will this affect the employee if you If you do or not something some way, hold on. I'm trying to. There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a, a little chart with different um, professions, and you have to participate. So let me see if I can do what I was thinking because I just wrote some names here. The wheel in the sky keep it turning. Did I tell you that I have a 1978 Volkswagen Golf? Yeah, right, I did. I'm planning to put one whenever I paint I paint it in black, I'm gonna put um, the journey logo on the on the rear window. On the back window. I'm gonna have the the journey logo on the back. Okay, so let's go with the wheel of names and also some terms. So here's the here's the game, okay? I'm gonna show you what I have here and you have to participate if your name shows on the screen. Okay, so for example, just to give you an example, if I say, your name, and here it says artist, for example. What training needs do you think an artist may have? An artist, an artist. Learning of colors, maybe. Learning about colors because an artist is a person who creates works of art, especially paintings, drawings, 
and sculptors. So knowing how to mix the colors will be a great idea. Knowing about colors, good job, Anaselmi, you got it. Now, there's a plus. Since we are in advanced one, I want you to give me your own definition of the job, okay? For example, the next word, the next, the next uh, occupation will be described for you by Walter. Okay. So I'm removing Walter. Walter. Can you define in your own words what is an actor or actress if it is a woman? What is an actor, Walter? What is in there? Can you describe in your own words what is an actor? Actor. It's a movie? No. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, yes, that's part. Very good. An actor is a person. Yes, it's a person. Uh, it's a person, uh, an actor of the movie, the series. Okay, it's a person that acts on movies or series. Very good. I like that as an actor and actress. Now, what kind of training do you think an actor would need? For me, it's a... Uh... Excuse me, repeat, please. What kind of training would you take? Let's say Walter is an actor. You are an actor. What kind of training do you need to become an actor? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's, a, it's a most time. <laughs> it's a okay. long time. Uh, let's think about your skills, que habilidades. What skills do you need? Ah, okay, for example, uh, oh my God, me, actor. Uh, it's, uh, it's very complicated. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> think, of, think, about, think about Jim Carrey. Ah, no, no. <laughs> for me, it's a uh, good actor, it's a... Uh, Brad Pitt, the movie. Brad Pitt, okay, mm -hmm. but what skills do you think Brad Pitt needs to be a good actor? For me, is an ability the actor, the Brad Pitt. Mm -hmm. For oh example, let, let, let's read the, 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 the definition. A man or a woman who pretends to be someone else while performing in a film, play, or television or radio programming. Uh -huh. So he pretends, he or she pretends oh, okay. to be someone else. So what kind of skill do you need to be an actor? Everybody? Interpretation, teacher. Interpretation. Mm -hmm. The ability mm. to, to speak and... Uh, the ability to speak fluently fluently or without <laughs> yes. oh my god an actor can be shy <laughs> um i disagree I with you but yeah. i now that you mentioned that about the mm -hmm. plot about the plot they need good memory yeah uh -huh. they need good memory that would be good memory yes. they want to learn more guidance well, big Big guy, I think. Yeah. Okay. These are the skills that you may have. Okay. Let's go with the next one. <laughs> so you got the idea, right? Let's see who is next. Thank you, Walter. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Sandra. Oh, okay, Sandra. <laughs> Sandra, an mm. architect. Oh my God, this is easy, Sandra. What is an architect? What is? An architect. Architect? Architect. Architect. He uh, building. It's building. He builds, okay. No, he doesn't build. Build? He, da 
he may build? build? Hmm. He makes buildings? No. Uh, huh? Design? They design. Good job. They design buildings, structures. Very good. Yeah. Teacher, I didn't see the rule. Oh my God, really? Okay, I'll, I'll fix that. So a person whose job is to design new buildings and make certain that they are built correctly. They design the building, they make sure they, they make it right. So what kind of training does an architect need? What kind of training does an architect need? Training is for presupuest hmm. and, and stru structure. How, how to do budgets? How to do budgets? Oh. How to do budgets, you mean? Okay. What else? Study this, this design, study design. Okay. Design, so drawing, right? Draw, draw. Yes. Drawing, how to draw. Okay. Yes, that is true. Sandrita, algo le pasa su micrófono. Thank you, thank you. Sorry. Okay, let's go, let's go. Do you see the wheel? Teacher. No, si teacher. Se, no se ve la, la, oh. la cosita. Okay. Okay, hold on. Yes. Right now I'm getting Gabriel, but hold on. I'm just going to share my screen again. Now you can see it, right? Yes. Guys. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So I have Gabriel now. I'm removing Gabriel. Let's go with Gabriel next. Profession author. Let's see. Author. 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 What does an author? Who, what is an author, Gabriel? Um. <sighs> Oh, that's, a, that's an expression. Ah. <laughs> mm, I don't know. Hold on. He, he is a good actor. <laughs> He's a good actor. Okay. <laughs> no, really, I don't know how to explain what an author is. Um, author. Let me see. We, we tend to say author. Gabriel just did it right. He author. Did it. Author. 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 Quiero que noten la TH en esa palabra. Author. 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 Mm -hmm. This sounds like an O. Author. Pero bien suave. Author. Okay. Author. So, what does an author do? Um, uh, I think it's someone who writes mm -hmm. novels, poems, <laughs> or books. Excellent. Good. To write the writer of a book, mm -hmm. article, play, etc. 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 The writer of a book, article, play, etc. etc. Okay, mm -hmm. good job, Gabriel. So what kind of training do you think an author needs? The first one is how uh he must know about grammar, hmm. um, good orthography. Um, grammar, wait, wait, grammar, grammar, I think grammar involves everything, right? Writing, good writing. Okay, okay. Um, let me think what else. Um, <laughs> I think that, and I don't know if it's a skill, but it has, or she or he has must have a good imagination. Creativity. Creativity, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Uh, that's it. There's this. There's one thing that that a good author need, and that is to 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 attack all of the things you've mentioned. A good author needs to read, to read a lot, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Then you think they... the redaction is right, teacher? Redaction, right? That could be it. Yeah. I've never heard orthography, but I, that's a valid word as well, I think. Good job. Good job. Let's see. Um, who is next? A baker. Okay. 9.51. Edwin, are you around? Edwin, are you around here? Edwin is sick. He's got the flu or the goma, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Edwin's a little bit sick. Okay, let's choose someone else. We're running against the, the clock. Oh, oh, okay. Rosalina. A baker. This is simple. It's too easy. Someone uh, who makes who makes bread. <laughs> baker bakery. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Yeah. Pastry, Someone pastry. Who made pastry bakery. <laughs> mm -hmm. bread. What else? Bread. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's a baker. A person yeah. whose job is to, to make bread. bread. And ah, cakes, cakes for sale could be cakes, okay. bread, pastry. There are many definitions. Okay. Now, what kind of training does um, a baker need? Oh, he wants to be trained, trained in how to how to cook, how to cook, yeah, how to bake, how to bake, mm -hmm. <laughs> how to use an yeah. oven. Yeah, how to use an oven, how to, mm, oh, training, training in, I don't know, in the, in the different, uh, the different kind of uh, repostería, how do you say repostería? Pastry. Okay. Pastry. Yeah, the different type oh, yeah. of, of pastry. Yeah, he needs a, a, a training in pastry to do the best cakes in the town <laughs> yeah that's good okay uh what about safety safety yes, training yeah, it's a danger do you think it's a dangerous yeah. job yes because he can burn can burn he can get he can get burned you got it get yes, burned he can burn this, this the skin yeah yeah mm -hmm. hey guys try to study that that's a very interesting topic the use of get Yes. The use of get plus a G, um uh, hold on. Get get, off, get back, no get no no down. but oh uh, no those are oh. those are honey uh, they oh, those, yeah. those are uh oh my god you just went to through the tangente hold on <laughs> these those are, are these are oh my god what's the name I forgot phrase albert phrase albert no. thank yeah, you phrase. Yeah. yeah, those you, you mentioned yeah. are phrasable. I'm talking about the use of get with um, past participle verbs. Oh, yeah. Okay, the use of get plus participles. Mm -hmm. Okay, get ruined. Get hooked. And so many, okay. That was mm -hmm. a parenthesis. Let me go with the next one. This is very interesting right now. Let's see who's next. These are just professions. Ophelia. Hello, teacher. Okay, Ophelia, let's see. A butcher. A butcher. A butcher. This is a very basic a word. Uh huh. A butcher. A butcher. What is it? What is a butcher? Let, um, let me give you a clue. Let me give you a clue. When you go to the Super Selectos, you spend two hours waiting for the butcher. Um, 
No, the teacher no sé qué es. You don't know what it is? Okay, somebody, what is a butcher? Butcher. Someone to cook the meat. The meat? Butcher. A butcher. Uh, someone who cuts. Someone who cuts, I'm sorry, someone who cuts the meat, cuts the meat. Yeah. and sells the meat. Okay, a person who cuts and sells meat in a shop. That's about a butcher, a butcher. I don't like to say butcher, I always heard butcher. A person who cuts and sells meat in a shop. Okay, that's a butcher. 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 I don't like to say butcher, say butcher. Okay, okay, next one, carpenter. We're missing some of you, but some of you are not here. And again, Wilfredo, no, Wilfredo. Yeah, no, Wilfredo, are you around? Wilfredo? I'm here, teacher. Carpenter. Oh, yeah, 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 hey. what is a carpenter? It is a good occupation or profession, teacher. What do you think? <laughs> profession, for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it's, it's an depends. occupation. It's an occupation. There is no, because. there's a certification, there's a diploma, but there is no uh, university studies. There's no, um, how do you call this? Bachelor degree. There's no study, you know, five years study to become a carpenter. It is, it is a good occupation. A beautiful because, occupation. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just because a carpenter can, can, design any furniture and get uh, everything then i i guess that it is a dangerous occupation because they have yeah. they have to be so careful using any tools and on uh, other machine that they have to use then i guess that it is i i i like I, I I will I will like to learn that carpentry. Okay. Yes. To become a carpenter. A person whose job is making and repairing wooden objects and structures. Beautiful picture. Yes. Yeah. My grandfather, my grandfather used to be a carpenter. So I used to play with uh, wood pieces, you know, all the time when I was a kid. It was beautiful. Okay. A cleaner, Carla Vasquez, wake up. Cleaner is a is a oh, is a wow. <laughs> we don't have time. <laughs> read, read, please. Go ahead. If you can read. Uh, Okay, a person who job is to clean house, office, public place, etc. Houses, offices, public places, etc. Good job. That's a cleaner. Do you think a cleaner needs training? Mm, if possible. <laughs> they need training. Mm -hmm. I yo he entrenado en limpia. ¿Cómo se dice? Uh, personas que a veces vienen a limpiar la casa. Porque no me gusta cómo dejan los baños y yo soy un gran adicto a eso, a dejar todo, pero así como bien. Es lo único con lo que me clavo en la casa, o sea, que se trapee y se barra y se limpie fácil. Pero donde es los baños y la cocina es como, tienes que estar reluciente eso. No sé por qué desde chiquito tengo esa manía. Ok, so, les voy a enviar esa presentación para que ustedes puedan estudiar así pasando las tarjetitas, ok. Y practiquen eso, está bonito el ejercicio, ¿verdad? Son bastantes. Y vamos a estar haciendo eso para adquirir vocabulario. Tengo otras dos por ahí guardadas. Una es de siempre de vocabulario de ocupaciones y el otro es de carreras. So, we'll see that tomorrow. Don't miss your classes. Una cosa más, la plataforma debería estar completada hasta la segunda unidad, si no me equivoco, ¿verdad? Ya a este punto. ¿Qué es la plataforma? La cara de Adriana me lo dijo todo. Oh, my God. No se va a completar en la tercera semana, ¿no? Eh, en la tercera semana tenemos que haber terminado hasta el... El intermedio. El midterm. Ah, okay. Very good, Walter. Y ya te llevamos dos, ¿verdad? Dos semanas completas. Right now, yes. Ahorita terminamos la segunda semana. Ok. Um, 
entertain tonight with Nelson, but Nelson is working. Ophelia Orellana, can you stay with me for 10 minutes? Yes, teacher. Okay, we're staying 10 minutes. Okay, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. She's gone. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present, teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present, teacher. Lord de María Carballo Ugarte. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Present. Good. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. El mejor cinco en historia. Okay. <laughs> Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present, teacher. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Good. Nelson, ¿de casualidad se puede quedar los 10 minutos o sigo con Ofelia y otro día se acaba usted? Por favor, teacher, que tengo que terminar un reporte. No hay problema, ok, Nelson, good night. Ofelia Oregana Arce. Here, teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Was... Ok, Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present, teacher. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Okay. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present. Hey guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Qué confundió el fútbol del mundial. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you. Oh my God! I'm with two Ophelias. Estoy con dos Ophelias ahorita aquí. Sí. Es invisible. ¿Y eso por qué está um, desde dos dispositivos porque le falla uno? No, es que a veces se me va el internet de la computadora o pongo el internet del teléfono, el de la casa, ah. ¿no? de repente. ¿Ah? Ok, ok, ok. ¿Cómo está, Ophelia? ¿Cómo le va? Bien, digo yo, pero me cuesta ahorita. <risa> sí, sí, me imagino. Ahora, ¿Qué es lo que está haciendo para que deje de costarle un poquito? Me Aparte de recibir repasar, las clases. Ajá. Me pongo a repasar, pero hay unas cosas que se me atrevo la lengua y me cuesta más. Mire, uh, seré honesto con usted. Yo necesito que usted regrese a lo, a lo que teníamos. ¿Se acuerda del plan aquel de agarrar un verbo, una palabra que haga juego con el verbo? Y empezar a hacer las oraciones, acuérdese, positivo, negativo, pregunta. Positivo, negativo, pregunta. Y repasar, repasar. Entonces, digamos, eh, usted puede agarrar el traductor de Google y escribir la oración que haya hecho. Por ejemplo, y se lo pinto así. Hoy es uh -huh. miércoles. Bueno, eh, digamos que el lunes arranco con esto de lleno. Entonces, el lunes... Yo hago presente simple, ¿verdad? Y digo, I wake up, I wake up at 5 a.m. Entonces, hago eso. Ya hice una oración en positivo. Tan básico como eso. Voy con la positiva, ok. ¿Cuál sería la negativa de esa? Sería, I know. Ah, ahí <risa> falta el auxiliar. I don't. I wake don't up. Wake up. I, at I, 5 a.m. At 5 a.m. Ajá. Te aterrizamos. Ahora, ¿cuál es la pregunta? Sería. Why? Mm -hmm. uh, no, sin el why. Do I okay. wake up at 5 a.m.? Y sí, si quiero agregar eso de las WH, pues digo. Why do I wake up at 5 a.m.? Entonces, 
agarro esto, perdón, me faltó ahí el question mark. Entonces, ¿para qué volver a esto? A lo básico. Como sí, como usted me lo dice, usted cree que lo más difícil es la pronunciación. Entonces, yo vengo, hago esto, y ahí hice positivo, negativo, pregunta, pregunta abierta. Chivo, ¿y ahora qué hago? Ah, pues me voy al traductor de Google. Y simplemente meto la oración que quiero saber cómo se dice. Y le doy play. Why do I wake up at 5 a.m.? Muy rápido. Why do I wake up at 5 a.m.? El traductor de Google primero dice rápido algo y después lo dice más, rep, más lento. Why do I wake up at 5 a.m.? Muy rápido. Why do I wake up at 5 a.m.? Why do I wake up at 5 a.m.? Y empiezo a repetir. Y empiezo a repetir. Ya, ahora, esto de las oraciones, acuérdese que es de hacerlo todos los días. Y por lo menos hacerlo eh, cinco veces. Ya tengo el verbo wake up. Agarro otro verbo del listado. ¿Aún tiene listado de verbos? Sí, sí, lo Ajá. tengo. Va, entonces agarro otro verbo. Otra palabra. Digamos que agarro el verbo play, digamos. Play. ¿Qué puedo jugar? Mm, soccer. Soccer, ok. Cambio el sujeto. O le pongo un nombre. ¿Cómo se llama su hijo? Anthony. Ah, pues digo, Anthony. A ver. Anthony. Ajá. Ay, pero el teacher dijo que la tercera persona, Anthony, es he. He, él. Ah, pues Anthony, tengo que modificar el verbo. Ajá, muy bien. Anthony plays soccer. Soccer. ¿Cuándo? Le tengo que dar algo de frecuencia eso. Sería on Sunday, digamos. On Sunday. Ahí tengo la positiva. Anthony plays Anthony soccer. Plays. On Sunday. Good. Voy con la negativa. Anthony doesn't play. I don't play soccer. Uh -huh. Ahora voy a, voy a respetar mm -hmm. la estructura que ya traigo. Entonces dejo el mismo sujeto. Anthony... Ahora, el auxiliar okay. de negativo de la tercera persona. Doesn't play soccer on Sunday. Anthony, yes, does... Anthony doesn't play soccer on Sunday. Ajá. Y luego voy con la pregunta. El auxiliar viene al principio. Does Anthony play soccer on Sunday? Ok. Or does Anthony play soccer on Sunday? Sunday, ajá. Y ahí estoy. Ahora, esto es lo básico. Ya el lunes solo hice presente simple. Y cada oración que yo hice la metí al traductor y me estuve repitiendo hasta que, hasta que yo dije, a ver, ya me sale. Anthony plays soccer on Sunday. Yo digo que ya la puedo hacer. Entonces agarro el teléfono. Ojo, agarro el teléfono y me grabo. Anthony plays soccer on Sunday. Le doy play y le doy play a Google al mismo tiempo. ¡Puc! Uy, dije Sunday. Ah, no, es Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. 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 Anthony, play soccer on Sunday. Me vuelvo a grabar. Hoy sí ya son igual. ¿Sí me entiende? ¿Sí, sí me entiende? Es. Entonces, esa va a ser su revisión. Si realmente usted quiere aprender, Ofelia, lo único que tiene que hacer es, oiga bien, llegar a autocorregirse. Le pongo un ejemplo bien burdo, bien, bien risible de mí. Yo a los 16 años vine de Santa Ana a San Salvador y venía diciendo las una. Y mi primita que se acaba de morir hace poco, Dios la tenga en su gloria, me, ya más se me olvida que los primeros días que vine, cuando me, por fregar me decía la una en punto, Tony, ¿qué hora son? Porque Tony me decía... Tony, ¿qué hora son? Y yo le decía, son las una. ¡Pum! Me pegaba. La una. La una. Vez. Y yo decía, vaya, pues la una, la una. Había otra cosa. Decía, de, ¿de dónde venís? De Santana. No, hombre, Santa Ana. Me decía, Santa Ana. Y así un montón de cosas que yo venía diciendo mal. Decía las canillas, por ejemplo. Y eso le, le, le daba risa a ella, pero al mismo tiempo me decía, no, no hagas eso. Es, 
las piernas, me decían, son las canillas. <risa> Híjole, mano, es que me corrigió tantas cosas porque me quería. Entonces, lo mismo con el inglés. Si usted logra agarrar esa autocorrección y esto que yo le estoy enseñando, así pasito a pasito, despacio, este, no es para que usted se estrese hasta que le salga, no. Fíjese que va a pasar algo. Y se lo digo porque ya me pasó así, con una persona bien humilde allá del puerto que vendía pastelitos. Y creo que les cuento esa historia. Yamilet, puchica, y se metió de lleno a estudiar y le expliqué esto. No lo soltó. A veces llegaba frustrado y le decía, no, dale, seguí, le decía, no te des por vencido. Ahí está trabajando en un call center. Y la mamá ahora es la que vende los pastelitos, todavía tiene el negocio. Pues sí, no lo soltó. Pero lo que le quiero decir es que, ¿qué fue lo que pasó? ¿Qué es lo que ocurre cuando uno hace esto de repetir tanto lo mismo? Su cabecita, su cerebro, se adapta y dice, ah, bueno, está bueno, pues ya no voy a decir Sunday, voy a decir Sunday, dice el cerebro. A veces hasta de mala gana, créamelo, yo lo he visto. Pero inconscientemente a uno se le van quedando las cosas. Entonces, ánimo, ánimo. Empieza con sí. eso un poquito, agarre un cuaderno solo para esto y dedíquele por lo menos una hora a estar repitiendo, repitiendo. Ya va a ver. Sí, sí, sí. Okay. Gracias. No hay de qué. Ponga, ponga a Anthony a la par suya. Vaya, Anthony. Oye, ahí me lo... Imagínense a la hora que si no, no se iba a acostar. No, no dormía, tiene que estar eso, vi. Señor. Bueno, good night, Ophelia. Bye, good night. Bye, bye.